Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'll be telling you how to create a polar plot using Scilab. Now, in case you don't know what a polar plot is, polar plots are 2D plots like XY plots are, only instead of plotting X versus Y, you plot R, which is some length at some angle between 0 and 360 degrees. Now, let's just check out how to create it using Scilab. So launch your Scilab console and click right here to launch Scinotes and just save the file real quickly. Let me call it new and hit enter. So to create a polar plot we, in Scilab, we are going to use a function called polar plot. And it takes up two arguments. One is a theta and the other is rho. Now theta is the angle in radians and rho is the radius or intensity of the plot. So let me just uh, define theta and rho here. So your theta uh, can take up only angle values in radians. So let me just um, define a vector or matrix from zero to uh, with a step interval of 0.1 up till twice of pi and the next step what you are going to do is you are going to give rho some function or maybe some values now in this case I'm going to make it a function of theta and as you can see I have made rho a function of theta and which is sine theta so let's just plot this curve by clicking right here which would save and execute this file and as you can see I've got a clean and neat polar plot of sine theta and in case sometimes you might have some values like if you're performing a, an experiment on polarization that you might then you might want to plot the intensity of the light versus the orientation of the analyzer and in that case you might not want to give a function right here but you might want to give some specific values for the corresponding angles then you will have to define rho as a matrix with which would be containing those values let me just demonstrate that by opening one file that I have already made on polar plots of um, uh, in which I studied the polarization of light since I am studying physics in college so here A takes up angle values from 0 to 360 degrees and with a step interval of 10 degree pi by 180 equals 1 degree therefore 10 times of that would be 10 degrees and B matrix contains the values of the intensity of the light as the, at the corresponding angles like the intensity of the light at 0 degrees was, six, was 16 then at 10 degrees it was 16 then at 20 degrees it was 16 30 14 and similarly and then I gave the command polar plot to get a you know polar graph or plot of a which were my angles and B the intensity of the light and as you can see in this example I have given a third argument which is style equals minus 9 and which denotes the computer to not plot it using a continuous curve but it plots the curve using some markers of uh, which are round and let me just add in a statement right here uh, called CLF which would clear the previous plot which you can see in this graph right here it is getting uh, there is a black mark here which is because of this previous plot of sine theta so let me just give CLF which would clear up my graphical window and then execute the program again so now it is much better so that's how you plot a polar plot in Scilab you use a polar plot function and then you give arguments of theta rho and you can add some styles if you give our uh, assigned style a uh, negative integer then you will get get you know different kinds of markers like if I write minus 
um, 5 then I would get a different kind of markers to use or you can even assign style of positive integer value which would um, give them different colors so that's how you plot polar plots in Scilab I hope you understood uh, it easily and I hope you enjoyed the video if you want some more tutorials on Scilab on a particular topic then you can ask for them in the comment section below and have a nice day